If you're looking for an authentic southern French lifestyle, then Provence is the place to go. We've selected five villages that you absolutely have to see and that can be reached from Nice on a day trip. So let's go and check out Moustier Sainte Marie, Borme les Mimosas, Cotignac, Tour Tour, and Seillant. Anne and I have been living on the French Riviera for so many years now, but it's always a treat for us to escape to one of those serene, some might even say romantic, little villages that are tucked away from the busy coastal scene. So you can imagine how much fun we had filming our favorite spots over the past year, although there are still plenty more to explore. Just a heads up though, you'll need a car to get to these villages. We're kicking off our tour in the charming village of Moustier Sainte Marie, which happens to be the farthest from the coastal towns on the Riviera, like Nice, Cannes or Saint-Tropez, among the ones we're showcasing. You should plan on nearly two and a half hours by car, one way. But trust us, it's absolutely worth it, because along the way you'll also get to see the stunning turquoise waters of the Gorge du Verdon Canyon and its neighboring lake Sainte-Croix. Moustier dates back to the 5th century and cradles its houses and lively alleyways within the crevice of a rock. One of its defining features is a goat-painted star suspended above the old town. Legend has it that the first star was hung there over 800 years ago. Renowned for its pottery, the village still hosts a dozen workshops dedicated to this craft. Take your time to wander around and take in what monks started building in the early Middle Ages. We're pretty sure you'll find a nice little cafe or restaurant to soak up the atmosphere. Borme les Mimosas is another breathtaking medieval village that can be reached in about two hours from Nice. If possible, visit in February. That's when the yellow mimosas, which gave this place its name, are in full bloom. The old town, with its pastel-colored houses nestled against the foothills of the Massif des Morts, offers a distant view of the sea. What we enjoy most in these quaint places is simply taking a leisurely stroll without a care in the world. After all, getting lost here is nearly impossible. Take in the gigantic plane trees at Place Gambetta, typical houses, lush green gardens with palm trees here and there, and the pedestrian area with mostly touristy but not tacky shops to your left and right. There's even a small history museum that's supposed to be really nice, but admittedly we didn't have the chance to visit. You should take your time though, and definitely enjoy a refreshment or a full meal in one of the cafes lining the road. We've been to Le Progrès several times and were never disappointed. This one also came highly recommended. If you like hiking, there are beautiful trails leading up the hills behind the old town. Expect awesome views from up there. Also, don't miss the incredible beaches of Borm, just a few kilometers from the old town. To us, they are the most beautiful ones on the entire French Riviera. And we can't be all wrong when French presidents usually spend their summer vacations right here at Fort de Brigançon. Here's another one of those almost unbelievably beautiful places, officially labeled one of the most beautiful villages in France, as almost all of the ones we're showcasing in this video. Welcome to Cotignac! Expect a drive of about an hour and 45 minutes when starting from Nice, and take your time to admire the vineyards of the unmatched Provençal landscape passing by. Coutignac is renowned for its steep rock wall, where until a few hundred years ago, a river cascaded down before being redirected. The village as you see it today was then built at the foot of the wall. Some houses were actually built into the tough wall with its maze of caves. Some of these houses, known as Maisons Troglodytes, today offer rooms for rent if you're looking for a special experience. We suggest you explore the caves if only for the view. Beforehand, check with the tourist office for opening hours. In winter, the caves are usually closed to the public. Anya and I had the greatest time discovering the narrow alleyways, lined with charming boutiques catering to tourists. But as with all Provencal villages, 
The most impressive feature is the central square, shaded by towering plane trees, inviting you to enjoy a drink or a meal on hot summer days. Truly, life can't get much better than this. The ideal time to visit Cotignac is from April to October, when life mostly unfolds in the open air. We've actually created a full video on Cotignac and its surrounding area. So if you'd like to see more of this charming village and what else there is to discover nearby, check out the video by clicking on the link in the upper right corner. Our next stop is nicknamed Village in the Provence Sky. Tour Tour, once again, is crazy pretty and will instantly put you in the vacation mood. From Nice, it'll take you about an hour and a half to get here. And honestly, you'd be missing out on something truly special if you skipped this village. Yes, it is touristy, but at the same time, it has managed to retain its authentic charm of simple Provencal life. Enjoying a meal or a glass of rosé on the main square, Place des Ormeaux, is a must. Here you'll find great local food, nothing too fancy, at reasonable prices. And as you stroll through the sun-drenched alleyways, keep your camera ready, because you'll encounter many beautiful corners you'll want to capture. From several fountains, much to the delight of kids and dogs, to vaulted passageways providing shade in the summer heat. The wash house, Lavoir, which is so typical of villages here in the south of France, and much more. Promise to walk up to the church overlooking the village. And above all, prepare to be captivated by the panorama stretching from Fréjus and the Mediterranean Sea on the left, all the way to Mont Saint-Victoire mountain and Mont Ventoux on your right. If you'd like to take a full digital stroll through Tour Tour, why not check out our video from last summer? Simply click on the info card in the upper right corner. And here we are at Seillon now, the village closest to the French Riviera among the five we're showing you in this video, just a mere one hour drive from Nice. Labeled one of the most beautiful villages in France, like Moustier, Cotignac and Tour Tour, there were also famous international artists who fell for this unique place. Surrealist painter Max Ernst and his wife Dorothea Tanning settled in Seillon, and you can admire their work at the Tanning Ernst Donation in the heart of the village. Other than that, simply be enchanted by the stone houses lining cobbled lanes and little squares that scream to pause for a drink or buy to eat under the trees while imagining what life in one of these villages would be like. Because one thing is for sure, and even as a tourist you won't miss it, coming to a place like Seillon is like stepping into another world, where the clocks tick much more slowly, just as we promised initially. Hey cutie. So, how did you like it? Have you learned something new? That would be really great. You know, Already last summer we went to the Provence and have visited some really amazing places.